Welcome to my YouTube channel! So, this video is about the cyber crime. The topic is about what is cyber. The Republic Act Number 10175 Cyber Crime Prevention Act of 2012. And the Republic Act Number 10173 Data Privacy Act of 2012. Then the common forms of cyber crime and the criminal activities. So, yan yung mga lesson dito sa topic natin about the cyber crimes. So, start muna natin kung ano ba yung tinatawag na cyber. Kasi alam naman natin yung crimes na mga, may kinalaman sa mga criminal o sa mga maling gawain. So, when we said cyber kasi, isa siyang characteristic of culture of computers, information, technology, at mga, at mga virtual re reality. So, yun yung tinatawag na cyber. And, Ano nga ba yung cyber crime? Ang cyber crime, ito yung mga crime na nagaganap sa cyber world. So, a crime in which a computer is the object of the crime. So, yun yung ginagamit yung mga computers natin, mga devices, including yung mga laptop, computers, personal computers, cell phone. So, yan yung mga ginagamit na mga tool sa cyber crime. And ang nagaganap sa cyber crime madalas ay hacking, phishing, spamming and child pornography. So, yan yung mga ginagawa to commit of offenses. <laughs> and we have also the cyber criminals. So may use computer technology to access personal information and business and businesses trade sec secret or gumagamit din sila ng internet for exploitative or malicious purposes. So, yan yung ginagawa din sa cybercrime. And another is the Republic Act Number 10175, yung Cybercrime Prevention Act of 2012, na kung saan itong law na to, in the Philippines, in approve siya noong September 12, 2012, na kung saan nag -e aim siya to address the legal issues concerning the online interactions and internet. Then, ang Republic Act 10173, yung, da yung Data Privacy, Privacy Act of 2012, isa siyang act na nagpro-protect sa mga individual personal information. Ayan. And the common forms of cybercrime. So, ito yung madalas. We have the copyright, the plagiarism, and the computer addiction. So, sa may common forms ng cybercrime in terms of copyright, ang copyright ay exclusive legal right natin given to an originator or an assignee to print, publish, perform, film, or record literary artistic or musical material and to authorize others to do the same. Kaya nga may tinatawag na copyright infringement. Kasi ito yung violation, yung piracy or theft ng mga copyright holders. So, exclusive rights to the unauthorized use of copyrighted materials o mga works. Kaya kung mapapansin natin, kung nanonood kayo ng YouTube, nanonood kayo ng nagpo-post kayo sa Facebook, tas gumamit kayo ng music, di ba, o let's say for example, bagong labas ng music, nagkakaroon kayo ng copyright infringement. Kasi hindi kayo, wala kayong karapatan na gamitin yung, yung music na yon o yung video na yon. So, yun yung nangyayari. And ang copyright is ginagamit ang copyright para may pangalan sa'yo yung authority o yung right sa prenuduce mong output or digital na output. And next, we have yung tinatawag na plagiarism. So, ang plagiarism is an act of using or closely imitating the language, yung thought, ideas, and information of another author without the authorization. So, kung makikita nyo dito sa may sample natin, ideas siya ng ibang tao or output siya ng ibang tao, tapos clean name mo na sa'yo. So, yan yung plagiarism. And we have here the computer addiction. So, ang computer addiction na hati yan sa dalawa, the offline and the online. So, in terms of offline, so, generally used when speaking about excessive gaming behavior, which can be practiced both offline and online. Ang online naman, tinatawag siyang internet addiction, 
which is got some more attention in general from scientific research than offline computer addiction. So mainly because most cases of computer addiction are related to the excessive use of internet. So madalas dito sa computer addiction, um, hindi na natin binibitawan yung paggamit ng computer. So nakakalimutan na natin yung physical self natin na kinakain na pala tayo ng computer. So naapektuhan na yung health natin including our behavior, including our mental and physical health. Yun yung nagiging apekto and also the social. And we have also yung tinatawag na virtual self. So, ang virtual self, yan yung persona na kinecreate ninyo about yourself virtually. So, kung makikita ninyo dito, mag, um, mapapansin din ninyo na iba yung ugali ninyo sa personal, iba din ang nakikreate yung ugali sa virtual world. So, ang tawag dyan ay um, virtual self. So, from yourself, from virtual to reality. So, yan yung tinatawag na virtual self. Yung pag-create natin ng persona sa virtual world. And ito yung mga different criminal activities. We have the hacking, yung computer-related forgery, yung fraud, or identity theft, yung electronic theft, cyberbullying, yung cybersex, yung child pornography, yung cyber defamation. So, yan yung mga different um, criminal activities. Start natin dito sa hacking. So, pag sinabi nating hacking from the word hack, ibig sabihin yan, pumupunta ka or pinapasok mo yung isang account na hindi ka naman authorized. So, this is an unauthorized access or pag interfere natin or interference natin sa ibang computer or ibang server or ibang account or other ICT system. So, ang hacking na group siya sa word na unauthorized access. Kunwari, ikokorap mo, i-alter mo, magnanako ka, o i-destroy mo yung mga data sa loob noon. Diba? So, using na gumagamit ka ng computers or other ICT system without the computer or system owner's knowledge and consent. So, hacking ang tawag na doon. The introduction of computer viruses resulting in the corruption, alteration, theft or loss of such data. So, dito, papasok yung illegal access, illegal interception, data interference, system interference, yung misuse ng devices, and the infections of IT system with malware. So, if the act is committed against critical infrastructure of the Philippines, the, pena the penalty is between 12 to 20 years reclusion temporal. So, 6 years naman siya to 12 years of imprisonment, also known as prison mayor. So, yan yung, nagiging, yan yung magiging um, kaso sa inyo kung sakaling magawa nyo to. So, kung magkaroon man ng infection of IT system with malware. Diba? So, yan yung um, nakapaloob doon. And we have also yung iba pang criminal activities, yung computer-related forgery o yung fraud and other identity theft. So, dito from the word forgery or fraud or identity theft, makikita nyo na, ma-imagine nyo na agad na kumukuha kayo ng data ng my data para makapagnakaw. So, ang an attempt to obtain sensitive information, kagaya ng username, ng password, ng credit card details, iba. And often, madalas ang nahak dito or napoforge ay yung mga pera na naka-up online. Diba? So, dyan nakapalob ang phishing, ang farming, ang spam. So, maximum of 200,000 ang nagiging fine or prison mayor ang pag napatunayan na ginawa mo to. So, di, next naman is yung tinatawag na electronic theft. So, dito sa may electronic theft, dyan nakapalob yung mga illegal downloading, yung pag-obtain natin ng files na wala naman tayong karapatan na gamitin yun, yung pagkuha natin ng mga copyright software, copyright na mga videos, audios, diba, tas ginagamit natin. So, that is an electronic theft. We have also yung mga digital piracy, yung mag-recreate ka ng copies at bebenta mo. Diba? Then, the practice of illegal copying and selling digital music, video, computer software, and marami pa. And yung pagkakaroon ng tinatawag na copyright infringement. So, ang 
penalty dito ay nasa 50,000 to 500,000 or pwede rin ang tinatawag na prison mayor. And we have here now, another is yung cyber bullying. So, ito madalas na mimit natin sa mga social media sites. So, the use of electronic communication para magbully or mag-send ng message sa mga tao na nakaka-intimidate or nakakasakit or at the same time nakaka-threaten ng nature nila. So, nagkaroon ng anti-bullying act of 2013, yung RA10627. So, yun yung mag-protect naman sa kanila. Another is the cyber sex, so which is willful engagement, maintenance, control, or operation directly or indirectly of any um, mga malalaswang ano, mga palabas or gawain through the use of um, computers and ICT. So there is a discussion on this matter if it involved um, mag-asawa or in relationship who are engaged in this kind of doings. So, ang penalty dito ay nasa 200,000 or prison mayor. So, another is the child pornography. So, this is a form of child sexual exploitation. So, gumagamit tayo ng mga bata in terms of sexual exploitation. So, mostly it is 17 years old below. So, this is unlawful or prohibited acts defined and punishable by Republic Act 9775 or yung tinatawag na Anti-Child Pornography Act of 2009. So, mostly ito, um, nakokommit ito gamit din ang ICT. So, the penalty, pag na-proof na nagawa mo to is 12 to 20 years of imprisonment o yung tinatawag na reclusion temporary. Yan. Then, next is yung tinatawag na cyber defamation. So, ito ay isang unprivileged policy statement of fact na kung saan nagtetends to harm the reputation of a person or a company. So, ang penalty nito is 6 to 12 years of imprisonment or prison mayor. So, mostly dito sa cyber defamation is nagbibigay kayo ng mga false statement ano na or nag, nagtatanim kayo ng mga maling maling statement sa isang tao para masira sila so that is a cyber defamation so yan yung mga different criminal activities so that is about the cyber crime internet thank you for watching to my youtube channel don't forget to subscribe and click on bell icon to get notification on my channel salamat po